What's the secret to handling big data? That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And this week, we had some news coming out of the Build Conference, as well as some other updates. So let's jump in. First up on the list is a blog post by David Eldersfeld, where he talks about some of the news coming out of the Build Conference with regards to Cortana Analytics. It is now called Cortana Intelligence and it offers some other things that we hadn't heard before regarding some of the bot framework that's there, as well as some additional APIs for leveraging some of the intelligence from Cortana. So be sure to check out this blog post. The bot piece was a lot of, there was a lot of buzz around the bot piece last, yesterday. So be sure to check it out and see what all the buzz is about. Second on the list is a blog post for Power BI Desktop. This is the March update. Some of the items that stood out to me are, there's now the ability to define a command timeout as part of your query. That can be really helpful. Before, we didn't really have that option to play with it, now you do. So if you know it's gonna be taking a long time for that query, you can bump up that timeout and you'll still be good to go. Some other items in there, SAP BW connector is now in place, it's in preview, and the Oracle and Teradata connectors have come out of preview. Also, the ability to publish to an actual group with inside of Power BI. So there's more items than that. Be sure to check out this blog post and see everything that came with the update. Third on the list today is all about Apple Watch, and I don't have one. But if you do, there's now the Power BI app for the Apple Watch. So you can check out your KPIs and your cards with inside of the Apple Watch itself. That's pretty awesome if you actually have one so you can stay current on what that data might be. If you don't have an Apple Watch, then you can't use this. Okay, fourth on the list and the last one for today is a post regarding Nate Silver's talk at the Data Insights Summit. He talks about the secrets to handling big data. Specifically, he called out three of them. So if you haven't gone and looked at his talk or listened to it, be sure to check it out. It's very insightful. He's definitely an expert in the field. In the talk, he does talk about biases, understanding what those are, staying up to date with current scientific methods, and just understanding what's available to you. I definitely recommend you go check out this talk. Make sure you watch it if you haven't, especially if you're working with big data. All right, I've got a poll up in this area. If you wanna go and let me know which one you thought was the most exciting, and if there's one that I left out, go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and tell me what you thought. Also, be sure to like and share this video with your friends. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday, I take a look at the last week, find items that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item where I either look at how something works, a new feature, or how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So, go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.